What's up, family? Man, family, I want to make this video just for men. Just for men. Women, you, you're entitled to listen to it. You know what I mean? But I want to create a group. I want to create a chat where it's just men only. Just men only. Man, there's go so much going on in the world. You know what I mean? There's so much going on in the world. And guys, we're so fucked up. You know what I mean? We're so twisted. We are. It is what it is. We're so messed up. And the trip is, we need a place where we could get together and chop it up and keep it real and be raw and authentic with each other. No women around where we can sit there and have real heart to heart conversations, whether it's about sex, whether it's about what our, us being molested or whatever the case may be. We need a place of our own where we could get together and be real men. And man, if we cry, we cry. You know what I mean? But we're going to hold each other accountable and we're going to keep it real with each other. Women do that naturally for the most part. They'll get on the phone and chop it up with their girlfriends they sisters and they're just crying and up, man, they'll have a party and man, they'll have everybody over all 15, 20 of their girlfriends over and they sitting there sipping on some wine, alcohol, whatever it is they do. And they just start pouring out their emotions about their failed marriages, their failed relationships, kids acting the fuck up and just all kind of shit. You know what I mean? Their health. They talk about everything, man. The sex ain't no fucking good. This motherfucker won't touch me no more. I think he's cheating on me. I think. And so women have groups like this just naturally because that's who they are for the most part. Whereas guys, we've been groomed and programmed not to deal with our emotions. We've been groomed and programmed since our childhood, man, not to show emotions. And the only time we're allowed to show emotions is doing fucking sports. And that's fucked us up. That has emotionally fucked us up. And so I want to create this group where we could get together and just talk about whatever. And just be real with each other. It's a trip because I was on the phone last night. And I was giving this young lady a coaching session. She's out of Texas. And another young lady who's been part of the tribe for a long time. And she shot me a text message. She's like, man, I remember your old videos about TP time and how you would bring your nephews and your sons and your cousins together. And you guys as men would sit there and talk about real stuff. Man, Elijah, I don't know why, but this is what's on my heart. You guys need to do this. You need to create a group for, for guys to do this. And I'm talking to this young lady and this text message pop up. And I don't even look at the message. As soon as I get off the, the coaching session, I pop it or open it up. And before that, I'm thinking, God, there's something more. There's something else I'm supposed to be doing. And I don't know what it is yet. And I'm feeling anxious because I know that is about to be told to me. I know that I'm about to get I'm about to get this download. I know that I'm about to get some information of, okay, this is what's next for you. And I open up this text. And all I could do is just sit there and smile because, man, my spirit like leaked in my body. You know what I mean? It's like, man, I was wide awake. I was dog dead tired after the coaching session. But when I saw this text message, it's like I was wide awake. I could not go to sleep last night because all I could keep thinking about was this group where men can come together and sit down. And we got to figure out how to do that, whether it's through um, a live stream or whatever. You know, we got to do Something, we got to come up with something where we can sit down and just chop it up and have real heart to heart conversations, whether that whether that's over masturbation, whether that's over, you know, um, no fat, you know, what I mean, whether it's over pornography, whether it's over just lusting at the women, whatever the case may be, drug abuse alcoholism, hanging out with the homies when I'm supposed to be married. You know what I mean? Getting our priorities straight. We as men need to get our fucking shit straight. We as men need to get together and start holding each other accountable. And when you look at the ancient Africans and you look at what the Native Americans did, they had teepees. And I'm part African and Native American. And so that's in my DNA. That's my ancestral line. And so part of me is like, man, we used to have TP time. And what does that mean? Is, man, in teepees, man, the elders and the leaders, the chief and the community leaders or the elders of the, of the tribe would sit there and they would share knowledge and wisdom and understanding. They would share their history. They would share their lineage. They would just pass on information and hold 
everybody accountable in this freaking group. And as a society, we've lost that. We've lost real men as leaders trying to hold and lace up the young men, trying to show the young men, man, that's not fucking cool. You can do what the fuck you want to do, but you can't do that in part of our tribe. You know what I mean? You can do what the fuck you want to do, but you can't do that if it's going to fuck up the whole crowd, up the whole tribe. We've lost that leadership. And I'm not talking about no fucking politicians. I'm not talking about no fucking pastors and no preachers, none of that other bullshit. And again, I don't care about the religious stuff. I don't care about the politics stuff. This is not that. If you want somebody preaching to you out of the Bible, man, go to fucking church. That's not what I want to do. That's not what I want us to have. I want us to have a place where we can sit there and talk about, man, our fears, our insecurities, why we're so fucking hateful, why we're so fucking distrusting, why we're so fucking bitter. Why are we so fucking toxic? Why do we keep doing shit that would put us in the fucking penitentiary and we say we love women? Ain't no fucking women in the pen except for the COs and the nurses and some of the teachers. You know what I mean? Why do we say we love this and we want this? Why are we doing everything to lose that? You say you love your woman, but your actions don't show that. Your actions don't support that. Why are you spoiling your fucking kids? Because you're creating fucking monsters. This is the shit that we need to talk about as men. And no disrespect to the sisters. And when I say sisters, I, I'm not talking about nationality or ethnicity. I'm talking about women. We don't need you a part of this group. We don't want you in part of, as, as in this group. It's some shit that we need to talk about amongst ourselves. It's some shit that we need to hold each other accountable over and correct each other on. If we're supposed to be fucking leaders, if we're supposed to be fucking kings, then it's time we start acting like fucking kings. It's time we start acting like the fucking men and the leaders we say we are. If we say we OGs, then how come we ain't lead nobody? And everybody we leading, we lead them straight to the fucking penitentiary. If we say we love our country, if we say we love our family, then we need to get together and get our pull our head out of our fucking ass and stop letting this country go fucking astray. And regardless of what country you in, you know what I mean? It's time that we as men united and start dealing with our fucking ways, our toxic ass fucking ways. It's time that we as men pulled together and started healing. Started healing. And you can only heal by facing and being honest and transparent with your shit. And the really one of the reasons why I constantly talk about all the shit that I've gone through in my life is to show men that, man, you could have gone through so much fucking shit and that's okay. That don't make you a punk. That don't make you less of a fucking man because you was molested as a fucking kid or whatever the case may be. It don't make you a punk. It don't make you a bitch because you're emotional. And when I say emotional, you got some shit going on in your fucking head. You don't know how to fucking handle. So many of us, we waste so much fucking time slamming dope, getting drunk, hanging out with the homies, chasing pussy. Why? To take our mind off our fucking issues. And we never get shit resolved. We never grow the fuck up emotionally. Because we don't even know how. We don't even know how to deal with our emotions. Because as kids, we were told not to cry. Stop whining. Stop acting like a punk. You ain't bleeding. It ain't broke. Stop acting like a little girl. You acting like a little fucking sissy. And so we've been programmed not to deal with our emotions. And then we grow up, and now I'm in a relationship with this young lady, and she's telling me she's crying and sobbing and whoop whoop and I'm not trying to hear the bullshit. Because to me, she's emotional manipulator. To me, she's trying to break me down. She's trying to take my fucking manhood. She's trying to fucking neuter me. She's we got all this bullshit we say because we've been triggered. 
And so we don't want to see our woman crying. We don't want to hear her whining about how she's feeling. We'll do, do, because now we feel helpless. Because we don't know what to do to fix her. We don't know what to do to get her to shut the fuck up because she's triggered me because i got some shit that I need to deal with and I don't know how to deal with it. And by you being emotional, you're triggering me. You're fucking me up emotionally. So I got to get the fuck up out of here. And so we run. We go get a fucking blunt. We run to go get something to fucking drink. We run out in the fucking streets to get some fucking pussy. Anything to get our mind off of what we should be dealing with. And healing from. Man. If you'd like to be part of this group. Man, shoot me an email. ElijahAmi. At gmail.com Again, ElijahAmi. E-L-I-J-A-H-A-M-M-I. At gmail.com I love you, brothers. Happy healing. Peace.